What's up, guys? Ancient here, bringing you another episode of Call of Cthulhu. Did he just arrive on the island? He said he worked on the docks, but not with Captain Fitzroy. We are in Marie Colden's mind. You know, the woman at the head of their gang. They call her Cat. Oh, I see. Do you have other questions? Hold on. There we go. Now I got rid of that pesky sheet that kept making noise in the last two videos. Show me his file. That... That's not possible. Why not? Don't tell me Dr. Fuller has taken this file as well. We need it. That's why I called you. <laughs> this man's ailment has been hidden from us. Come on now. Mm -hmm. What was he treated for? An intoxication, I was told. After inhaling chemicals. That'll do for the time being. Any idea what this man might be undergoing? Very well. I'll examine him. Wait, isn't this... This is Edward, isn't it? His skin shows abnormal loss of color. Yes, it is Edward. He's dried out. He's totally dehydrated. His fingertips and toes seem to feature a slight ring under the skin tender at the touch slightly sticky huh severe malnutrition a swollen abdomen with traces of petechia oh, doesn't seem like an edema slight protuberances seem to indicate the presence of a foreign body 30 year old subject Severe hypothermia. Erythematous papules around the eyes and eardrums. Necrosed palupal tissue. Lord, this smell. So, doctor, an opinion? I'm not sure I have the necessary knowledge to treat this man. Don't say that. You're our most worthy doctor after Dr. Fuller. <laughs> Some of his symptoms are beyond my comprehension. What did you find? What? What do you mean, unlocked? Did you examine his abdomen? It would seem there's something inside. He hasn't eaten in days. Are you certain it's not an edema? No. Can't you recognize an edema? Pushing with your finger won't leave a trace. And look at these bumps. <laughs> it's not like he could be pregnant. No. Whatever it is, this man has something inside him that shouldn't be there. We should operate on him at once. What? Dr. Fuller said not to worry. That the edema would go away by itself. You know, I'm not sure Dr. Fuller is telling the truth. In spite of the muscle contractions, his arms seem limp. Yes. They can't have decalcified. Not at this rate. And yet, if there is a bone in this arm, it's softer than that of a newborn baby. What about his cranium? It's soft at the touch. It does seem like the skull of a baby. Look at these sticky rings growing at his fingertips. What can be happening? I'm He's sure squidifying! You, explanation. you have to. I see signs of hypodermoclysis, but he's still dehydrated. When was his last IV? He's constantly under perfusion. I've even gone beyond the recommended dose to no avail. And you won't believe me, but when we bathed him earlier, he seemed to feel better? Yes. Like he needs an aquarium, not a perfusion. But that doesn't explain his condition. I almost don't believe it myself, but these symptoms are not those usually associated with the human species. What do you mean? Don't tell me you believe in extraterrestrials. No. This poor man is from our world, all right. But his body is undergoing unnatural mutations. Interesting. His transformation is killing him. His body simply can't cope. Where could he have gotten such an infection? 
I pray that it's not here. Dr. Cogan, may I know what you're doing to my patient? What I'm doing? How about what you've done to him? Let us calm down, my dear Marie. I don't appreciate your tone, nor your insinuations. I've done to him what I do to all my patients. Provide him with the best available care. Your imagination is without limit. It's your homemade drug again, is it not? Those people are not your guinea pigs. Hmm. There, there. What have you seen to put you in such a state? I've seen suction cups on his fingers, his falling body temperature, his dehydration. Had I only read the report, you know what I would have concluded, Doctor. Do I? Tell me anyway. I'm curious. He's no longer human. These are the attributes of an animal. Fascinating. An animal, you say? Could you be more precise? Cephalopod, perhaps. This amuses you. Your reaction does. I know your thirst for knowledge, Doctor. It's your innocent worries for this man that have you overreacting. For this man and the others whose medical files you've been hiding. What a piece of I shit. I to protect my discovery. These people owe me their life, but the world isn't ready yet. It will be in time. I will not let you do this. You disappoint me, Marie, but I still have hope you'll one day share my point of view. In the meantime, take care of your own patients and try not to forget who you're dealing with. Your head is a completely different color from your hands. Was that a threat? What did he mean? It was a warning. Dr. Fuller is this institution's founder and one of our profession's most influential voices. My word is of no weight against his. If I continue to protest, I will only ruin my reputation and career. It's scandalous. Can't we do anything? Is there no evidence of his crimes? Oh, that evidence exists. I'm sure of it. I need to find the missing medical files. And where would you find those? In his office. What if you get caught? I'd rather not think about that. I'm counting on your discretion. Of course, Doctor. You can count on me. I'll keep mom. Can I, like, beat the shit out of Edward here? Oh. That would have been entertaining. Wait, what? Ooh. An unknown medicine. Judging by the other ones, it causes heavy side effects. Get into Fuller's office, huh? Doctor, please. My chest. How about I tear your heart out of your chest? Will that help? His perfusion of a semi-physiological solution doesn't seem to work. He's undergoing a ventricular fibrillation. <laughs> Nurse? Deborah, come and help me, please. His potassium level is too high. Replace it with 2% glucose solution with insulin, calcium, and sodium bicarbonate. I'll tend to it right away. Thank you. He's in your hands. Cool. Hello there. Hay fever. What's he doing here? What is that? He broke his back in an accident down by the docks. Ah, the whaling station. What's wrong with me? What are you talking about? Ah, uh, doctor, is that you? Yes. It's Dr. Colden. Tell me what happened. It's the old whaling station. See? The one that hides the smuggling business. Oh, no, no. How do you know that? They don't go on that side of the island. Everyone in his place. The captain on one side, Cat on the other, and me. Well, I've been to the whaling station, I have. What did you see there? Nothing. Nothing at all. The floor was all rotten and I fell straight through. And that's how you broke your back? <laughs> Perhaps. No idea. Passed out. 
I see. Hello there, gray-haired lady. 